an American style barbecue. Hey, it smells just like pork. Oh crap, now you're doubt, making me doubt myself. Really? I promise it is pork. Uh, it is beef. She keeps saying. Beef not. See? She said it's beef. These are the basic toppings that you would put on an American hamburger. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning. Time to go. charcoal grill we got everything for hamburgers and hot dogs and all the toppings chips and soda it's just a perfect american barbecue right and it's raining i think it, there's typhoon or something so yeah so we're gonna try and get over to our friend's house and see what they think of our american hamburgers <laughs> and all that so we'll see we'll okay. take you along let's go a few moments later they're like is this for the stores like no okay let's make this oh. Ooh, that all the fat on one side or what no, I think all of them are the same. So, I haven't been able to find ground beef that tastes the same or feels the same as a hamburger in the U.S. And so John requested that they put 20% fat and 80% lean meat into our hamburger mix. And so we're going to mix it up and see if that will do the trick so that it will taste like a regular hamburger to us. I'm excited to try it. It'll be fun. We are going to make a bunch of hamburger patties and then once we get the grill going, we'll just cook them all at once and cook the hot dogs. We've got buns and all the toppings that we can find. The only sad thing is the lettuce is not very good and it was expensive. But I couldn't find iceberg lettuce. They didn't have any this time. And we've only got small tomatoes, but it's the only red ones we can find. And so we're just making it work and it's nothing too fancy. It's not exactly what we're used to, but it's be fun. Gorgeous. <laughs> so we have eight so far. How many do you think this will make? Thirty. Did you get twenty out of it? Yeah. hot dog. Jumbo hot dog. Kaya mo ba to? Kaya mo ba to? Wow. Okay. So this is starting to look just like pork to me. So I asked Sean if he actually got ground beef. He says he did. So we'll taste it. Find <laughs> out. I asked them, I said, is, where can I get good beef here? And they actually, you know how they are, they will like bring the beef to you. So you saw the cow's head? Yeah. The pig's head? No. Hey, it smells just like pork, but let's see how it tastes. Oh crap, now you're doubt, making me doubt myself. Really? I promise it is pork, uh, it is beef. <laughs> she keeps saying too, you keep... It's beef. Well, this will be really weird hamburgers if it's ground pork, but we're going to have a good time soon. It's two kilos of ground beef. Pork. Oh, pork? See, she's on my side, so that makes me more confident. She's always on your side. Beef not. See? She said it's beef. Lick it. No, lick it. No. Lick it. <laughs> no, you won't know which one is going or mix. No. Usually, uh, beef is a lot redder. I know, but it's been two days. Okay, so maybe it's just going bad. <laughs> yeah, at least, at least it's beef. Wow, baka naman patikim at kung anong lasa. Yeah, I see. Rena. Huh? Wow! Hati, hati. Masarap! Hati! Hindi ka mo kayo na lang. Mmm! Daya naman yung tuloy. Tawakan mo kasi tao na yun. Kunyari naman ko. Mmm! 
ganda naman ng tindera natin. Jesse, you could work at Burger King now. Yeah. You're a pro. So our friend just tasted it, said it's pork, so John tasted it, and sure enough, it's pork. But they look gorgeous. Uy, Rico, ba't mo sinunog? We need ice. Did they... So welcome to our American style barbecue. We got it as close to American hamburgers as we could in the Philippines, but <laughs> somehow we got pork instead of beef, so it's not really an American hamburger. But these are the basic toppings that you would put on an American hamburger. Tomato, a little onion, lettuce, and then ketchup. And here's some mayo. So make it however you want though. These are cheeseburgers and these ones don't. Most of those don't have cheese. And then there's hot dogs. Every time we have an American barbecue, we do hamburgers and hot dogs and chips. We got Doritos, those are American, and that's a very common chip there. And then we got soda. So enjoy. Thank you for coming. Kaina. Pulu, Kaina. How do you like your pork? Pork burger. He loves Granny Lou does the fry sauce. Baby Ray, give Lolo Rico some hot dog. Can you share? Share your hot dog. What do you call a bulletproof shark? Shark proof. Koy ring ko ni lo ikaw. Bulletproof shark daw. Shark. <laughs> 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 okay. Brother Nilo, what do you call a fish with no eye? Walang eye. Bulag. Like blind. It's called a. <laughs> They're like. What? It's <laughs> an F-I-S-H, it's F-S-A-I. No, I A few hours later. All right, I would call this night a bit of a fail. Watching the footage back, it was like, okay, the meat was wrong. We didn't have enough of it, too. My jokes were bad, so. <laughs> no, it's not. It was funny. But we had a good time with our friends. We really enjoyed getting together with them, at least every week. It was fun, but trying to make American food here is always hard. The ingredients aren't the same, and if you can get the same type of stuff, they don't taste the same, so. And it's, it's, it's fairly expensive. Yeah, so we can't do that all the time, but it was fun to try it. I think our friends thought it tasted okay. Yeah. I mean, they finished all of it, so. Okay. I just don't know if they're honest with me about that taste. <laughs> <laughs> Even like lasagna or, you know, simple pasta and stuff like that is really hard to make here. I mean, there is the noodles and tomato sauce. The cheese is so hard to find. Yeah, and, and if you find it, it's going to be so expensive. Yeah, like, like three times expensive oh, yeah. than, than the U.S. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, ah! And we refuse to use the processed cheese that, yeah, that we sorry. have here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> if the cheese is on the shelf, we don't eat it. But we really, really like eating Filipino food though. And hopefully we'll make more Filipino food videos. Mm -hmm. Or Laura 
she has asked a few of the ladies in the area to teach her how to make uh, sapin sapin, uh, maha blanca, and all those other things because those are the stuff that Laura really likes. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get to where I'm making a cooking type video every week. So what do you guys think about that? Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see me make and learn how to cook. It's going to be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join our Patreon. There's a link in the description. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I am hand washing clothes every day until we, we hit 100,000 subscribers. Yes, I know we can do it. Anyways, thank you so much. Thank you for your guys' support. I know there's a lot of new subscribers and a lot a lot of love in the comments and Yeah, stuff. thank you so much. And if you're new and you don't know much about us, go ahead and check out our old videos. We've got videos of how we've met and our experience moving here to the Philippines and what we're doing here. So you can go check all of that out. But as always, you can ask us questions in the comments to get to know us and we will reply. Okay, and well, we will see you guys later. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>